we're delighted here to host an exhibition entitled In Sight of Peace. What's great about this exhibition is it brings together some of the outstanding examples by one photographer called Ian Berry, who's been working in South Africa from 1960 right through to pretty well now, covering the story of the move towards apartheid, life within apartheid, and then the move beyond apartheid. There are only 24 pictures or so, but we've probably had several thousand people coming through looking at these pictures and the different stories that they tell. So it's a way of raising questions about the role of photojournalism and peace building. We're delighted to support and be involved in the different festivals here in Edinburgh, partly because Edinburgh University is based in the city and wants to contribute to the energetic life that goes on during the summer months, and particularly during August when, of course, Edinburgh doubles in size almost. Partly because also we're involved in groundbreaking, hopefully cutting-edge research in different parts of the world, and we actually want to share this. This is not something we want to keep within the bounds of the ivory tower, but actually to share beyond uh, the walls of the university. And we want to show some of the different areas of work that we're working in. Particularly, for example, here uh, we're looking at issues related to peace building and conflict situations and how the arts might contribute to building peace. Now that's just one example of many, many different examples of research that's going on within the university that we're keen to share and also to learn from other practitioners around the world and visiting Edinburgh. There's two days actually of events that are linked with the International Festival uh, that are happening at the end of August. Well, there'll be a chance to hear different members of the university talk about their research, raising issues, whether it's about whether academics should be involved in popular dissemination of their research or other questions about the arts about the sciences. So there's a whole lot going on at the end of this month, but there's a whole number of other events that have been happening here right through August.